Ow. Away from the Helmosaurs. Away from the Helmosaurs. And we are back in the Lake Bed Temple. Hello and welcome to our uh, bought of this. I'm giving up any pretense of doing that dumb voice. Okay, so in a special late night edition of Twilight Princess, um, because I had one hell of a rough night sleeping, and eh, so we're doing this late at night. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. The switch was me, Austin. It was me all along, Austin. Even my family bought it. Anyway. So. Yes, this is late night. I'm hoping my voice holds together because I just ran an hour and a half set of Smash Bros. <laughs> effectively. So, um. You know, good things. Okay, so. This temple, I was gonna, I should probably mention right now, is to me, uh, pretty much the most complicated in the whole goddamn game. Uh, it's, you know, City in the Sky is pretty complicated too at times, but it doesn't hold a candle to this. Now, from my memory, and I do have a guidebook so I can cheat whenever the hell I want, but I'll try not to. We have well, we have to do both sides eventually, um, but I don't think we can really do the lower half yet. Okay, we cannot do this half yet because this water wheel needs to be spinning. Um, yeah, it's not here, but in these little areas, um, there'll be some vines that you can claw shot onto. But alas, we do not have it as yet. Maybe we'll get it in this dungeon. Maybe. Uh, listening to the echo back of my headphones, this sounds almost kind of Dalekish. So, boy, I really hope the audio quality is actually good. Okay, yeah, that's buggered. All right, so I guess we're going down. Uh, I think. I guess we grab that handle. Yeah, that seems about right. Cause that's. Because that resets it to how it was. We want it to be a little different, don't we? So here we go. Let's try down. Fingers crossed. See, Link jump for good luck. Okay. Yes, okay, good. We can continue this way. If you see any random cuts that um, will be, no doubt be punctuated with music, you'll know why. Um, I'm pretty sure there will also be text indicating why, if it's not blatantly obvious. Okay, this room. Yep, alright. I even went to the trouble of un combining them. Oh well. That's kind of annoying. Eh, yeah, well. Deal with it. Okay. So. We can't get there yet. Which sucks. It's not the boss key, but it's pretty important. Okay. We will head down, and oh, fingers crossed this is the way you need to go, but I'm pretty sure it's not. I have to go this way in some capacity. Ah, oh, there's a chest, so yes. This is relatively important. I don't know if this, this is the first place we have to go, but it certainly feels it. Oh, fuck you. Let me on. I was going to say, the nice part about this temple is, well, I walked in, took a hit from the fucking shellfish, for clam, yep, there we go, perfect, and that kind of sucked, but those red chews at the very, start, very, very start always respawn, so, you know, you can effectively have infinite health. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to complain about that at all. I'll just cheat. I don't care. Fair game. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of this. There is a lot of this. Going back and forth. 
Tedious backtracking. Oh. How, pa how uh, passe. I mean, who likes backtracking video games? Am I right, Epic Game? <laughs> oh, that even that, that hurt even to fucking say. Ugh. Well, unlike the Water Temple in 64, you can't totally screw yourself in regards to the keys. That always, um... That always kind of confused me, because I, you know, I haven't played Ocarina enough, but looking at the map, um... Because I had the old Wind Waker guidebook, um, which had a truncated version of the 64 guide in the back of it. Looking at the map, I never quite understood how you can screw up the order of the keys. I mean, it's got to be possible, given what everyone said, but I don't know. I mean, it has to be possible at the very least. But yeah, no, it always kind of weirded me out, because, well... As I've repeated, I can't figure it out. Okay, go to break these, break you for later, and break you. Don't remember exactly what that one's for, but it's for something. Water, water Temple in 64 is pretty hype, actually. <laughs> I don't know if hype, no, you know what? Hype isn't the best way to define it. I meant to just say good, I don't know why I went with hype. So fucking Zaibatsu rubbing off, rubbing off on me too much. Radio, smash you! It's a Helmosaur. Hey fucker! Rules of nature. Oh, rules of nature indeed. Come on. Oh, that's the problem. If you get the angle even slightly wrong, it's redundant as fuck. Ow. Holy shit. Good tech. Yep, yep, yep. Come on. I don't even need to fight you, I just want you out of the way because you're being really annoying. More annoying to me. I, I'm the only. Yeah, let's try that again. I'm the only one who's allowed to annoy people on this channel, goddammit. Until I rope someone else into helping. Okay. Karu... Oh, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna... No. No, I was gonna give up, but no. Let's not. No, it's you fuckers. Um. Hey. It's shit. Yeah, um. Yeah, I don't know if I'll ever rope someone into this. I'm sure people would be willing to help, but I don't know if it's worth it. Because then I have to get like a real setup with like a second mic and a mixing board and have to actually learn how to level that sound instead of doing whatever the fuck I've been doing on YouTube thus far. Here we go. Glug glug. Right ho, bottoms up. Thank you, Lap. I'm sure you're not patches at all. Oh, spoiler for the uh, Ring City. Um. Sorry. I mean, it's been out for close to three years at this point. Did you know Midi is a fuck? That's a contentious argument, actually. Ah, uh, saying Midi is a fuck isn't the contentious part. Saying it's a bit of a slog is contentious. He's, he's a well-designed fight, he's just... I don't know. Just how long it takes, really kind of drags on a bit, but I, that's, what's the whole point, it's a dragon. Oh, this is a fucking pun, that wasn't even intentional. See you later, fuckers. Oh. See you sooner than I thought, fucker. Well, I think we know where the first cut might happen. I don't think there's any saving this. I won't be, uh, won't be making that mistake again. Call it a hunch. Um, I'll play a lot safer. It is weird how they respawn like this, though. That, hey, look, there is something to talk about. Yeah, I've never quite understood that. Shortcuts. Yay. Never quite understood. Let's just have a look in here briefly. 
So we can do that. So we shall. Just have a look. I can't remember. I think this is... Yeah, yeah. Pretty sure we're blocked here. Yep, I can see the line on the map. Because I can see you. I feel like my memory's going to shit of what just happened. Like, in regards to what just happened. Yeah, because I just... Just did that. Oh, hey, buddy. Oh, well, at least there's one good thing about them um, coming back. No. Don't. Merge. We're gonna lame it out. Haha. It's a self-sustaining economy. Even though it will... Realistically, not. Because, um, well... They've got to respawn from something. That uses up some form of energy. So... Mate, wait, was I meant to? Was I meant to go back? Oh, fuck. I'm feeling dumb. I'm feeling very dumb, but let's just assess it, the situation once again. See? I, I fucking knew it. This temple. Flipped up, turned upside down. Wait, no, of course not. No, this is what I meant to do. I meant to come here. So, there is no need to take a minute and sit right there. I've got, to, I've got it sorted. Okay. I was actually trying to visualize this temple earlier today before I, you know. When I realized, well, I had to do it. Which is fine, because I want to. But, um, I was just seeing what I could remember from this temple. And I got the layout of these few rooms pretty much spot on. It's just the order of what to do in them, but I, uh, fucked up. So, um, sorry. But we are going the correct way. Yeah, you can take the scenic route. Which involves iron boots and a claw shot. But that's annoying. To climb all the way up, and I don't think you can. Technically. You can get up on this. But if this tech type hits me, this is redundant. We can do that, though. Good shit. This is a fun little jaunt, I suppose. We got those rolls. Um, they don't actually speed anything up. This is just breaking the, modern the uh, monotony of um, this. <sighs> Can't you feel the energy? I think I'm. Yeah, you know, I think my hype is spent after those last three matches where my brother and I went ah oh, fuck it Ganondorf versus Falcon I was a Ganondorf in this case it, it ended up being um uh two to one in my favor which is fun okay so claw shot later on you can come back and get that I'm pretty sure it's it was a rupee it might be a stamp now oh, I was gonna climb up just because but oh no we have to take that fun slide in Mr. Burns's castle Super fun happy slide! No, Dad. Oh, I guess killing will be fun enough. Yeah. What a drag. Like, I mean, who even finds this fun? Ugh. I don't know who I'm trying to appeal to with that shit. <laughs> no one, I guess. What is it? That's mindless self-indulgence. Is it alienating our audience or something? <laughs> the water popping is a little weird, though. I'm not laughing at my own joke. I'm laughing at the water. It's funnier than I am. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is the uh, quality commentary. It's quite dry. You get it? They got it. It's pretty drab. But still more colorful than Dark Souls 3. Ho ho! <laughs> And we can see for that. Nice. Yeah. For all the jokes I make, I genuinely do like Dark Souls 3. And yes, I feel the need to say that every time I make a Dark Souls 3 based joke. It is a good game. I mean... I'm just hoping Elden Ring is better than the Cinders mod or I'm gonna be a little disappointed. <laughs> just a little. 
Yeah. That mod's really good. Just adding basically almost... Well, yeah. Basically... Basically almost everything. Redundant speech. And... Wait, no. Let me try that again. Redundant words. I mean, the speech is redundant in its own right, but... Shut up, man. Yes, sir. Okay. Sorry, I fucked up this. There we go. Good tech tyke. Not messing with me. You don't know what you're messing with, child. Them devil games. I mean, Zelda's not a devil game. I don't know if it's brutal enough. Alright, so here's the main gimmick of the temple. If you hadn't figured it out. Water might be important in the Lake Bed Temple. Just a little. So, right now the problem is... It's just dripping in there. It'll pull, it's just pulling. Wait, can we get that? <laughs> I, I, what, I'll try that again. I've always liked um, that little thing of... There's water underneath, so the animation for diving plays. So I should have got this earlier, but... yeah. Um, I've always liked that. The whole just face planting. And then, oh yeah, roll. Yeah, fine. No one was watching. Yeah, man. English, am I right? It's so difficult. I was saying to my brother, though, because um, when we were making... We, we were playing in those last Ganon versus Falcon um, matchups, we had to choose, we had to choose appropriate stages and appropriate music. Um, that Shin Onigashima music some pretty hyped stuff. I'm using the word hype a lot. Okay, uh, what can I do here? Okay, yeah, 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 I think I remember. So, due to the water, I think we can get to some areas we could- oh, fuck. Uh oh, hashtag exposed. Um, that's just the entrance, right? That is indeed the... No. That's the room we've got to get the water going to eventually, but we can't yet. The pros of having the mini-map on the gamepad. I can look smart, even though it's blatantly obvious what the fuck I'm doing. So, um, basically... I gotta get to this switch. Which is simpler than I made it to be. Because all I've got to fucking do is this. Um, even though... Wait, no. No, that's not what I have to do at all. What am I saying? That's... Alright. What am I... Wow, I'm trying to be smart, but I'm really failing at it. Amazing. Not as amazing as Puppy Sick, but this is pretty good. Wow. Fucking, why is my brain dying? Holy shit, this isn't that confusing. Okay, so water levels up, um, doesn't really help because nowhere's blocked off. We can't go this way because the water's not going. We need the water to flow from there to here. Which requires a claw shot. Why am I having trouble with this? What the hell? Yeah, we'll do this. Then we'll see. What we can do, because we can't do that yet. I'll try this. Oh my god, yep, yep, okay, I'm dumb. Yep, this is the way. I, I spent way too long second guessing myself. I mean, you're not hearing this if I was wrong. Yep, okay, yeah, it took way too fucking long. Okay, so there's these two doors. They both lead to the same place. We need to go for the second, if I recall correctly. I'm pretty sure we come out that way. Well, we'll go anyway, just in case. I'm pretty sure I'm right. But I could be wrong. So you never know. Because this is a mini-boss arena. And I'm pretty sure, from memory, this is the way out. This is 100% the way out. Again, it's almost like you get the claw shot here. Hmm, weird. Crazy. 
Okay, good. My brain isn't totally dying. I'm remembering parts. I just had to go do the thing. Fantastic. Yeah, because we get this here, which is a compass key. Okay, got it. So I was obviously going to need that. Oh, trying to ambush me. Nice job. To nice job. Nice job, me. Yeah. Yeah, no, okay. I was too focused on the stairs instead of just figuring out, wait, no. Because this is turning. Which is exactly what I was thinking. But for some reason I was like, no, there's got to be something I do first. But, but, well, there's not. Yeah, and this is one of those weird instances. I'm just going to play cars. Or some play cars. There's some pots here. What do I hold? Rupee, rupee. Nothing. Chew is still there. This is one of those weird instances where the door isn't on the map. Because it's, I guess it's technically not a door. Even though, well, yes it is. Do, 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 do. I'm going for a casual walk. Not quite a dive in aquatic mine anymore. So this is a little secret. It's not critical, is it? Yep. Oh, damn it, I should have... Alright. Yeah, that's annoying. That's a secret, I believe. I could be wrong, though. Should have done this first. But I didn't remember what it was. So, I think we can fight the Baronade. We can try to, but I don't think it's... It's either super not worth it, or just shit. But, as I was saying, that I'm pretty sure it works that... Well, the way it, fighting him works is you've got to pull their core out using the hook shot. Sorry, the claw shot. Very easy to get the two mixed up. Almost like it's almost like they serve the same function. Ah, uh, nah, saving that for Wind Waker. You know, if this, if this goes on for long enough, this channel and all that, I'll probably get to Wind Waker eventually. So you can find them, but it's not really worth it. That time it was worth it just because um, I felt like it, I guess. <laughs> but I didn't say it was a good reason. But there was a reason at least. Alrighty. Are you ready? For the most lovely boss and Oh! What? What is this? Little, little frog things. What is this? I'm just doing some maintenance. Huh. They usually look up. It's shot. Fuck you. Shouldn't have done that. I like the little uh, sprite eggs hanging off the back. <laughs> they effectively look like sprites, I think. They're not. Maybe they are. Anyway, what am I saying? I should be paying attention to the Deku Toad. No quite. 3D to... No, I'm pretty sure they are sprites. Yeah, it's easy to just take the hit and wait for this. These guys are fucks. Look at here. This music, though. This is my fucking jam. Why can't this be a Pokemon? Hmm. Wonder what we hit. Deku Toad DLC for the Armor of Isle or the Frozen Tundra. Uh, sorry, I mean the Painted World of Arianus or Ariandel. Okay, yeah, we can't do anything. I figured I was walking onto the Toad instead of them, but the Tadpole. Thank God there's no stamina, like Dark Soul stamina meter, or we would have got our guard broken the fuck up just then. I mean, broken up's not the right way to phrase it. I like how it shrinks though, it looks super shitty. <laughs> I forget, I think, like... I don't remember if this is like, a joke from my mates, or if it's um... I think when it does that, you can totally bomb arrow it. But um, I can't remember if we used to joke about getting a finish on the tongue, or if you can actually do it. I'm just gonna take... I, I, I'm, I'm tanking this, and I'm gonna heal in a second. 
God, this this fight must be annoying on a no damage run. Yes, yes, I didn't make it up. I remembered correctly. What a noble creature. Oh, isn't that beautiful? You know, some say the Demon of Song was inspired by the Decretoad. Some say he's called the Stig. Some say Jeremy Clarkson is a bit of a dickhead. Both are true. Which sucks, because I like Top Gear. But hey. Huh. What are you? Oh, wow. I never knew about these. What the hell? Oh. Wait, what the fuck? Where did my bomb just go? Hold on. <laughs> okay, I didn't know. I didn't realize how that's how it worked. Alright, let's check if there's anything up here. I feel like I probably noticed these like once or twice. I am in a bad position. I probably noticed these once or twice. Using Jared Aim, by the way, because I'm being lazy. Um, but yeah, no, I totally forgot these even existed. I'm sure I must have noticed them, but wow. I feel like... Okay, you you look different. What's your deal? I feel like I must have. I've played this game so much. I mean, it's not like missing a bonfire in Lost Isolate or anything, but... Feels like that to me, because Christ, I should have known. Oh, look at that. Nice little piece of mise-en-scene. Environmental storytelling. Thank you, Miyazaki. Very cool. Very cool. Everything in Dark Souls 2, nowhere near as, uh... Doesn't have the depth, the same... Same masterclass that the lore in 1 and 3 have. See, I'm not mocking the games. I'm mocking those guys. They're like, oh, 2 still shit. No one likes it. Well, actually, it's quite a good game, and it... No! It's bad. But build variety, or oh, no one cares about that. PvP, no one cares about PvP. I mean, I certainly did for quite a while, when I was playing one. On my first playthrough, notably, and a few others. But that was mostly because it's like... I was pretty lucky, given I was playing on PC, and I think... I only ever had a hacker... Well, no, I had two hackers. One was a fucking dickhead turning into... Uh, you know what? I'm just going to ignore this. It was a dickhead t using chameleon to turn into a barrel in the parish. And... Obviously with edited stats because he just rafa gods me. So, you know. Um, that was fun. Felt very fair. The other hacker was like... I, I had the PvP watchdog at that point. And the second he popped into my world, the game's like, you know, we'll just boot this guy. So I'm like, okay, sure. And I did. So that was fun. But, like, I think I only had really one proper invader. And that was in, um, Tomb of the Giants. Like, I just got in there. I just kindled that first bonfire. This is post-Lord Vessel, of course. I wasn't that insane. And... Turns out, I managed to attract a Black Knight at the same time. Didn't matter, because I just fucking firestormed the hell out of him. And killed both. It was pretty funny. I'm pretty sure I had... I don't know if I had the Sunlight Magnet at that point, but I just fucking annihilated them. So, um... Moral of the story, kids. Don't be a dickhead. Don't be one of those. Try hard. Actually, no, he's probably... I don't know. That's unfair to say. Who knows, he might have been a, like, like a decent invasion build, and it was second half of the game, so fair enough. Yeah, I'm being a bit rough. Being a bit rough. Though. Um, Wrath of God guy never got his come up and so. Son of a bitch. I'm not salty about it, you're salty about it. I've never had a, never had a hacker in, uh, two or three on PC, though. Which is the weirdest part. Because I should have had a hacker on 2 or 3 in PC, on PC. Or at least in 3. 
<laughs> is there anything I can do down here? I don't believe so. Yep, let's just smash these pots for... Yep, resources. Nice, nice. What you're seeing on my uh, little item menu there, it's going to call it an item wheel, but that's wrong, is about what I'm going to be carrying on me for the majority of the game. I think that's fair enough, because they're all pretty useful. Okay, is this the part where we can... No, we cannot um, go around with the hookshot and do stuff. But it's just some chests in the water. It's not a lot. I'm pretty sure there's one. Either that or it's just intended to be a way to get around. I don't know if it's a very useful one, but... Yeah. I mean, it's there. Can't say it's not. Oh, Yomi. Look at that Yomi. He knew he was going for it, so he, he dodged. Come on, get closer. Get. That's what I thought. Okay, so this place is annoying. Without the, uh, without it moving. But that's fine. We can just do this. It's all coming back to me now. It was just that first bit after getting the water going. Can you fuck off. Thank you. I feel like I had similar moments in um, Bloodborne, where it's just like. Oh yeah, yeah, just just, uh, just talking about shit. Oh yeah, this is the solution. Turn to an enemy. Just go away, please. Excuse me. Thank you. Just casually. And up we go. I was thinking to myself, though. Um, again, I don't think... I know. I'm pretty sure I didn't say it, but... reason Wind Waker even whoop, popped into my mind after playing Smash Bros was because, well, Mogra's theme was playing. That's a damn good piece of music. So I should say, the music in this game is very good. Um, I don't know how you'd compare it to Wind Waker though, because holy shit, that is a soundtrack. Mogra alone is amazing. And that final, well, spoiler, final Ganondorf battle is quite something too. Hey. You. I don't know why I waited. Pretty sure I mentioned this, but it's like the old game we used to play back in ye old days of Black Ops 1 zombies. Wow. What good old times they were. And you know, when you get your uh, two grenades per round, you just kind of stand there holding them, you know, and in like a little game of chicken almost. And just trying to throw them the second, um, you know, the second they're going to blow up. But not so you get damage, of course. Oh, look at that Yomi. Oh, my Yomi bow. I knew I could just target them. And it would work. Thinking about it, I don't, even, I don't even know, like... Well, I'm making some weird sounds tonight. It's almost like I'm trying to verbalize. And it's just kind of all falling apart. I'd be interested to know, like objectively if you consider this to be good combat for the time i mean it's solid it's fine i i like it but compared to a lot of games i don't know i feel for like the generation it came out totally fine but you know it's a little unfair to go yeah but dmc won because well yeah but dmc 2 though <laughs> the one that's uh that, you know, the one that has a lot of problems. So this is me trying to use the gamepad while just swimming in what I thought was a straight direction. I bet it didn't look like that. Was God of War one out by now? I, it must have been, right? Oh shit, corner lock. Good corner pressure. Jesus Christ. You know what? How about we just leave? How about we don't bother fighting? How about we just go? How about we get out of the water? There's a shark in the water. There's no lifeguard to rescue me. Yes, it's a joke about that dumb thing. I made it last episode too, I'm pretty sure. Go away, Tracer. Get your filthy hands off the scout. He deserves better. <laughs> so fucking dumb. Uh, I like me the scout though. Always fun playing the scout in TF2. 
I'm playing everyone, actually. I don't think there was a single class I actually hated. I wasn't very good at soldier. But spy, demo, scout were definitely my favorites. I had the dumb... I'm pretty sure I've said this, but I had the dumb pimp hat for demo. Bought it off the marketplace for like 20 cents, so... You know. I was one of those. Don't know what the equivalent of Overwatch is. I mean, I was going to make the joke of I heard people aren't really playing Overwatch anymore, but... Well, TF2. Val not like Valve's giving people reasons to. But, yeah. Nah, it sucks, because I, I like Valve games. I'm pretty sure... I've definitely said this, but yeah. I like Valve games, it's just... I don't like some of Valve's practices. And that's not even like, the, you know, the Half-Life Episode 3 shit. I just don't like certain aspects of their business model with Steam. Not very consumer friendly. Like, the fact that it took Australian consumer law in the first place, which apparently is quite the envy when mm, it shouldn't be, because it's kind of shit a lot of the time. I mean, I know, in contrast to the world, it's probably pretty decent, but there is some shit. Um, and the Watchdog's kind of toothless a lot of the time, but, like, the fact that it took our Australian system going to Valve, hey, you have to offer refunds, and then them going, oh, yeah, uh, uh, two hours or within a fortnight. I mean, the Fortnite, I think, is acceptable for two hours, yeah. I guess limitations, given, like, you know, how long it takes to beat them. Did I miss something by doing this? I feel like I did. Went on my little anti-capitalistic raid. Rage, um, whatever. The thing where I said words, and I tried to think and play games while doing it. I'm clever. I don't do this for a living, thankfully. Yet at least, I don't fucking know. Okay. Yeah. So, you can do this. This is... This... This is how you get back up. Fucking Christ. Wow. This is a good thing I don't do this for a living, because holy shit. Now, I don't know if rolling's faster, but it certainly bloody feels it. This is faster, though. Way more dangerous, though. Okay, we just gotta... If I can do this in Dark Souls, I can do it in Zelda. Yeah, even this is faster. I feel like I missed something. Yeah, because I did. I'm dumb. Should have done this first. Wow, what am I? An idiot? Yes, apparently I am. I think we've been through this several times. Oh, I'm impressed. That's only... On my recording, it's about 45 minutes. Be a bit shorter for you guys. Wow, I'm surprised. Thanks for doing rather well, all things considered. Okay, mini map time. But, so yeah, the map's haunting me because I changed it just then, and it's showing me the uh, the chest, all the way at the top of the other one. Go away, skullfish! I caught you once. I'm I'm not doing it again. That was hell. I remember. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. I remember it being so much easier in the in um the original, but I don't think it was. I I don't know what changed, but it took me so bloody long. So these are meant to be you throw them and you are uh, use them as platforms, but they have nothing inside. Uh, no survivors. Felt a little dark even though it's just wood. Oh, cool, uh, gamepad's running out of juice, that's nice to know. Um, oh, I thought I'd, I gave it a little burst, I kind of figured it would have an alright battery life, but that was my mistake. No, good. That's the one I came out of. That's the one I came out of last, we won't be going that way. Yes, we'll be going this way. There's some unsavory bandits that way. This is a shit mild man of tape. Hey guys, you get it? Pay? Patches? Ha ha! Yes. What does the law say about it? The law dictates he doesn't get a place to live. The law of this land. 
Is this too easy for you? Now I'm just now I'm just fucking referencing happy socks. Yeah, the purple stuff that I will probably never drink in this whole playthrough um, either hurts you or heals you. Bit of a gamble. You know what? Fuck it. Things can't get too much worse. Kill me. Lucky Ted. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Holy shit. That's awesome. I want to know the odds on that. I wonder if anyone ever made like a spreadsheet or a table. Because wow. I don't think I ever recall that happening because I never tried. I mean once or twice but never too often. For good reason. Is this the way I can leave? I know. Feels like I can't get out this way. Boy I'm really hoping the gamepad doesn't die. Okay. Yeah, we can hook onto that. But can we get back to the gears? We can do that. A chest I missed. Sugoi. Subarashi. Yeah. I don't think I ever finished my thought. One of many that I'll never finish, but I'll finish this one at least. Um, yeah, as I was saying, when I was playing Smash Bros, we, uh, we would... You know, choosing appropriate music. And... Which one was it? Um, I can't remember which stage it was. But I was like, yeah, chuck on Shin Onigashima. I was saying to my brother, like... We, we all did a little bit of Japanese in primary school. Because you all have to do... There's always a lot component. A language other than English. Um, so Japanese is what our primary school did at the time. They did German the first two years when I was there. Then swapped to Jap. Which is what I did um, for the rest of high school. And uh, boy, that was clever because it fucked my ATAR. Ah, well, still gone to teaching, so who's laughing now? You know who's laughing? Everyone else at me trying to get out of here. <laughs> wait. Yeah, wait a minute. Hold on a second. We're not, we're cutting pick a minute. Okay, you know what? I have to take him seriously. I'm pretty sure, other than going back for chests, I have wasted everyone's time. Because I'm pretty sure, due to the way the water works, we can go this way. But yeah, what I was going to say was, the one good thing about Japanese is, you read the letters, you look at them, and you go, yeah, that makes sense. You read the letters, and there's no bullshit rules about silent letters. Does this count as we like almost being a bit of a weed there? Because it's more like just a linguistic thing of I appreciate the fact there's no bullshit. I mean, it, it still took a while to get my head around how to structure sentences and all the considerations you have to make. Doesn't help now I've forgotten a lot of it because I never practiced it enough, but see, so can't be that much of a weed if I forgot most of my Japanese. Checkmate. Me. I really showed myself. Excuse me. Yeah, you do that. But yeah. I mean... Wasn't really anything to the story, to be quite honest. I just needed to fill the time. Oh. No. Son of a bitch. Ah, son of a bitch. Oh my god. Oh, uh, uh, okay, this does not look good here. Uh, okay, we can take... Oh, that's weird. We can... We can take a swig. What's the worst that can happen? That. That's the worst that can happen. I'll, I'll just keep it for now. I mean, there's no reason to, really, but... Yeah. Who cares? Could come in handy. Even then. If we take a few hearts damage, doesn't matter. I'll be drinking it so I can I can pick up a red What the hell was that? I feel like I just saw the uh, targeting reticle. The little targeting prompt for the wall. Crazy. Ow. That was my neck. I don't think it picked up, thankfully, but now that kind of hurt. 
Okay, cool. Yep. Yep. Come on. We can do it. I always liked how they do that little dance. Oh. Nomad So, I see we are doing this dance once more. Okay, so, as you can see, um, if you look directly into the Devil's Pit to our left, you can see that Silent Hill is- no. Um, if you look directly- well, fucking Christ, what is going on with the camera? If you look down there, you can see we can now reach the boss room. There is one little issue with that. The issue being, we can't fucking do anything with it. Now, I'm pretty sure... This is what we are meant to do. This is what we are meant to do because water slide's kicking in. Okay. Uh, how do you get to that again? Can we just do it from here? I feel like we can. Yeah, we can. Now, is this a piece of heart? Because I think it is. I really hope it is. You know what? In celebration. Let's drink the Kool-Aid. Oh, it didn't hurt. Nice. A drink I will never have. A, because, well, I don't know if we even fucking have it in this country. And B, because I'm not part of a cult. Is that a little tone deaf? Yeah. Made the joke anyway, so I can't really go back on it. Oh, yeah, this is... Oh, that's the stuff. That feels like a bug waiting to happen right there. My fleshy exterior exposed. How could you link? God, these Helmosaurus show are soon there, right? Really soon, soon. Yeah, let's just let's have an explore. Sorry, I'm not sorry, but we're doing it. Okay, what's here? I, you know what? I actually, there's nothing. I think we're just stuck in a loop. We are not taking a dive in aquatic mine, we are being taken along a river rapid ride. Huh. That kinda rhymed. Kinda, but not really. Still shit. Um. This doesn't feel right. Where am I meant to, uh. Uh. There's meant to be a something I can latch on to. Where? Oh boy, this was a mistake. I feel like I've missed the whole point of this. Oh! Why am I stopped? Oh, there we go! Cool! Ah, uh, so that felt superfluous and... Ah, uh, well... Like I missed something, but I don't know what the hell I missed. I just wasted everyone's minute. Including my own, so see it's fair. I wasted my time and your time. Well only you poor suckers who are actually bothering to engage in this channel. Once again, thank you very much. Second of all, I clearly don't value your time. The sheer audacity of these fuckers. Oh come on, we're gonna get you. Yay yeah, shit. I'm coming, Rupee Chan! <gasps> The tech tyke have stolen its innocence. Can we, please? Uh oh. Uh, um. Okay. Abort! Abort! Dive! 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 Oh Christ! Maybe I shouldn't have inverted swimming controls. <laughs> Maybe that was my mistake. Submerge! Wow. The toughest battle I've had all game. Yeah, other than those bats at the start. Fuck those bats. No, scratch it. This is the toughest, I guess, basically. Yeah, fuck you. Fuck you, you'll come out. Oh, really? Neat. I just think they're neat. That was weird how I couldn't grab onto that rock, though. That felt super unintentional. Hmm. 
how does this puzzle work again? If only I could fathom. It would seem there'd have to be some form of pressure plate, but um, the world may never know such a thing. Oh well, alas, we shall leave this and never return. Oh. Wow, you're eager. Ow. Be gone, heaven. Return from once you came. I think I fucked that up. <sighs> Whatever, who cares? Whatever. Whenever, whenever, whenever. Learning to walk again. Dave Grohl, 2011. Really, um, deep and meaningful stuff. Anyway. Do like me some Foo Fighters, though. I've stated this on numerous occasions, I believe. Alright. So, we do not need to go this way, apparently. Okay, game pad is uh, flashing like mad. I think that implies maybe it's dying. Um, you know, it might be clever if I, in one moment, uh, stand up and get the charger to alleviate this. Because we've come too far. We'll fuck this up now. <laughs> Truly unknowable. The workings of the inner mind. Something pretentious, that way. It's very Shakespearean writing, just like DMC Devil May Cry. Ah, uh, see, diverted attention from myself and kicked the horse while it was down. A horse that's long since been buried. I dug it up just to kick it to, uh, to draw attention away from myself. That's what mature adults do, correct? Okay, so. This is what we have to do. I don't really care about that one rupee, sorry. Whoop. It's really great how I miss that. Look, look at this an Orlando staircase. Really, when you think about it though, isn't the uh, lake bed temple... Well, wait, yeah, I fucked this up. What I meant to say is, real, when you think about it, isn't the an Orlando for lake bed temple we explored along the way? You know? Uh, having faith in ourselves even when, well, no, having, you know, our, our partners for having faith in us, faith in ourselves when they really had no reason to, as, um, explained in the Omicron the Nomad Soul, um, credits. Thank you, David Cage. Ah, yeah, uh, I modernized it a little. It was, it was just referring to our girlfriends and wives, even though they were women, play, you know, working on the game. Unfortunately... <laughs> Nothing could save this, soul. Oh. Also, yeah, um, I know this is dumb, what I did, waiting here, but half of that's also because one of those keys was going to go for me, so I figured we'd err on a side of caution, and three, two, one. Ooh, barely made it. dun 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 the hypest game on YouTube. All jokes aside though, no, Sonic Adventure 2, what a good game. Dated, but fun. But Shower Garden alone is still really cool. I'm gonna say the same thing everyone has said pretty much, but um, that's free money, Sega. I'm sorry, Sega. The Elder God known as Sega. But no, seriously, it's free money. I don't know why they haven't made the Chow Garden, like, like, you know, it all it always comes up about making a mobile Chow Garden, mobile fun game of the Chow Garden, and it's just odd they haven't done it because that that would print money. I mean, they could probably fucking dumb it down and make it really shitty and it still print money. I mean, it was really good. We all loved it. Well, my brothers and I. My youngest brother got really good at it, though. Really, really good at it. I don't know if we ever got Chaos Chows, but still. Besides the point. Hey, you. Yeah, we wait. No? Okay. Okay, no. Speaking of course, you can just, like... Snipe it. 
I was obviously forgetting. But that's not how that works. My bad. Yep, there we go. Wait, why the fuck can't I... Okay. That's why I can't target it, because it's dead. Link is secretly Kenshiro, did you know that? I've got that Fist of the North Star game coming, actually. Um, Paradise Lost. That should be fun. I've never actually played any of the Yakuza games, because they're the ones that make... Well, made this. It's a few years old, but still. Should be cool. Looking forward to it. That was weird. Also, here you go. Naturally occurring bomb thing. Get out of here, yo. Hey, get out of here. What are you doing here? You're one of the keen boys, ain't you? What the hell are you doing out here? I feel like this is the wrong way. I feel like I am correct in saying this is the wrong way. Could be wrong. Oh boy, I thought they had timed that very poorly. Yellow Ruby. Blue didn't really care about you, I care. That's 10. I'm gonna need a lot to uh, fix up a certain bridge. Now, is this... Yeah, I can't remember if this is the correct way in or not. I think this is the bad way. This appears to be the bad way. See, there's actual fish in here. Nice. Yep, okay, yeah, this is the way out. As you can see, it was a fish. So that's cool. Who would have thought of having fish in a water temple? It's, uh, you know, really radical for its time, I guess you could say. You not. Thank you. Cheers, dude. You not. Dude, thank you. Dickhead. I mean, really, I've got myself to blame there, but, eh. Who cares? Okay. So, yes, this is what I recall. I believe this will be more bombs, so getting this right now is incredibly dumb, but I'm not coming back for it. It is indeed more water bombs. I'll try to catch one of those bomb fish at some point. There's, um, there's a cave you can do it in later, so... Yep, there we go. That's what I was looking for. I finally found what I was looking for, a place where I belong. Um, I don't remember the rest of the lyrics of A Stranger I Remain, but that's a good song. Everything in Metal Gear Rising is a good song. I don't think- no, there's not a bad song in that soundtrack. Well, I'm talking about the vocal soundtrack. I don't think there's a bad one in just like the normal ambient basic combat music. That soundtrack's really good in general. Platinum is always really good soundtracks. I mean, did, did they reorchestrate the whole wonderful 101 soundtrack? Because if so, yo, that's awesome. Also, we're here. This is the correct way in. I was just doing some exploration, I suppose you could say. Well, yeah, you would call it that because it is. Idiot. Duh. Parry this, you casual. If you could have bomb arrows and souls, that would be the ultimate parry this, you casual. I mean, outside of, yeah, being a knight pulling out a Glock, that's a pretty solid, that's a pretty good hard pick to a quality build, I guess. Now, we don't need the boots for this, do we? No, we do not. Excellent. Dun, 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 dun. Just like Matarame's palace. I know Kamashita's a total fuck. I'm talking Persona 5, so... Yeah. I know Kamashita's a fuck, but Matarame was pretty bad, too. That, uh, revelation. Um. Yeah. What a scumbag. What a scumbag. Oh, you know, they, they had a seizure, so I just left them. Oh. What a parry. What an answer. What an answer! Ah, uh, rupees, but really... Aren't the rupees... No, no, you're not making that same joke. Fuck off. Well played, me. Uh, which way do I have to go now? We have to continue taking a dive in aquatic mine. Something, something, a water ride. Okay. 
this is nothing. I didn't really check down here, I believe, so let's just have a look. Because I was thinking this is the weight of a master key. Remember? A big bus key. Is that all? That's all? Alright. I don't remember what I was saying now. I was talking Persona 5, but um, I think it was something after that. Oh well, who cares? We're out of here. I was making that dumb joke, that's right, about the friends we made along the way. And no, the rupees aren't that, so... Yeah, it was a terrible joke. Well played, me. Well played. So I'd be seeing a chest if I hadn't got it. On the mini-map. You guys can see too on the screen. That's uh, it's really innovative. The way that, um... The way that they display it on the gamepad and uh, the TV at once. Really, you know... Me, me personally, I thought it was... I thought it was great. Me, me personally. See? At least one me red letter media reference per episode. Shit, now I've got to keep up with it. Now I've got to meet the quota. i got to keep it up. Which, um, might be a tall old order. Not as tall as Rich Evans, though. You know, Rich Evans, famous celebrity who appeared on the Ellen DeGeneres show. Me personally, I love this guest appearance. Yeah, I'm stopping. I'm stopping now. The genius of Mike Stoklasso. I believe I pronounced that correctly. I am, if it didn't, well, I am also a hack fraud. A hick fraud? A hack fraud. Legally distinct from its New Zealand um, alternative. Being a hick fraud. Um, I'll shut up now. Um, we're almost there. Come on, don't do it. Yeah, eat shit. Now, there is a fairy in the pot right here. Um, given my health, guess what? I don't care. But, uh, I ain't scooping it. This ain't scoops, scoops hagen das. I was watching those old Marvel videos. What a fucking treat. Those yipes video. Videos, plural. Meaning more than one. Clever me. I mentioned, I, I've mentioned previously, I've never um, really played much Marvel. Bit of Marvel 3, but those videos are a fucking, well, legendary, I guess, is the appropriate, appropriate way to put them. That's not where I landed. Jeez, game, come on. Breaking my immersion. Come on, Half-Life 2 already existed with its no cutscenes. Surely you must be able to do as such. Gosh. It's 2006. Oh yeah, this is thing, by the way. Morphia. Twilight Aquatic Morphia. Twilight Aquatic Morphia. Hey Morphia, how's it feel? To, uh, be aquatic. So yeah, you gotta watch that because that's going for a grab. This thing is kind of creepy, though. Yep, yeah, it's going for the grab. It's got me. And I believe this takes one or two hearts. Two. Got it. And the problem is, because I got my boots on, I'm at risk of falling back in. Do, 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 do. That's the one thing about this boss fight. you got to be pretty mobile, even though you're in the water. Um... Not quite the, uh, what are we called, the, the headless fights? No, is it the headless from Sekiro? Yeah, I think that's it. It's not quite fighting them underwater, which I, uh, I remember I dove into the lake in the castle. Once I had the, uh, shinobi swimming technique of whatever the fuck it's called. Um, I dove into the water and, uh, found a headless and went, um, no, I'm good. Okay, yes. This is the easy way to do it. Oh, wow. We had a bit of lag there. Well, not lag. Frame drops. Baron Von Frame Drops doesn't have the same ring to it. But uh, that little spark from the bomb, though. Um, yeah. It's something. It's uh, very... No, you know what? No, it's not interesting. Shut up. Yeah, this thing always looks sick. 
Look at the eye. Cross that to invade Lysia of Lindelt. With the infinite wrath of God spam. Hey, would you believe that I have to catch up with this guy? And... Whoa! Never had that before! Man, I'm showing off all the good signs of Twilight Princess, aren't I? I'm finding all the dodgy as shit. Yeah, you have to get a lot closer. Knocking over the pillars is a nice little thing. Uh, oh wow, yeah, no, I'm showing the bat, like... I'm showing it the best parts of Twilight Princess in the worst fashion possible. Yeah, this form is not very threatening, is it? I don't even know what I was going to do there. I've never seen the attack. Would you be surprised to know one more hit and then we're done? Because, um, well, that's how it works. You see, Nintendo games often do it in three hits. Or in multiples of three. It's not common knowledge, so you have to be a pro gamer to understand that. Yeah, no, come to think of it, yes, I have never seen Morfield's attacks. I'm going for the finish, don't worry. I don't know if that's a change, but I, I always remember, for a lot of bosses, if you go in for the finish, you have to get in one hit for that last combo, and then the finish prompt popped up. But it seems to be doing it here normally just like immediately so I don't know if that was me misremembering or just the circumstances or if it's something that actually just changed but anyway yeah that's the boss fight <laughs> it's uh, not hard it's pretty straightforward <laughs> okay well uh, Ward Temple done um, yeah last piece of few shadow oh and a heart nice piece of heart. Well, no, it's a full heart, not a piece of heart. Come on. Oh, yeah, I've got my two fairies. You know what? I, sh I should have put the fairy in the bottle. I would have been on one heart. Radio. Hey, Minda, this uh, piece looks familiar. Well, you know. Of course it does, because it's um, part of what she's wearing. Duh. Me. Yeah, talking about Zan. Ooh. False power. I'm gonna prove it using this. I'm gonna take it back. All for revenge. You feel it too, don't you? The fiddles we've lost. Those who lust for revenge. In such a manner that makes me cry out, ooh, in an overly dramatic function. Yeah, I don't have the appropriate, um, appropriate perspective to say if MZS5 was good or not. <laughs> well, in the sense of, like, I imagine it's, given what the game is, it's got a err on the side at least a 7, I'm sure. Like, but, yeah. Because I didn't play a lot of it. I borrowed a friend's copy for a little bit. Anyway, I should shut up because I might be making an edit any second now. So I need to give myself some nice quiet audio. I don't know if I stole that bit and I just put in roundabout. But I, I was contemplating doing it. Off the top of my head, I should have done that, um, like, a bit in Kakariko. Anyway, I'm going to shut up and we're going to enjoy this cutscene.
him. Yeah, I was going to say quite for the whole thing, but fuck it, I can't help it. The uh, title trope of, you fools, you collected the things for me. Hey, look, we're already a wolf. The power of my god. Yeah, that, meant to sound, that was meant to sound shit on purpose. I mean, it sounded shit of an eye intended, but still. Oh, no. What? What, um, what tragedy is this? You know, I don't know about you, but, um, I'd be worried if that, uh, if that happened to me. <laughs> you know, a foreign object like that just, well, was absorbed into my body. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here we go. And that is why. I need you. Uh, lend me your power. The weird fish mouth. You know, you have to use your imagination to uh, decide whether or not those are teeth or uh, strings of spit. So it's you know, it's up to the reader to interpret. Really, that's uh. That's how Miyazaki intended the law to be. Oh no. How tragic. Now walk away. But where is the wolf? What happened? What happened indeed? Thanks, Light Spirit. You're a cool guy who doesn't afraid of nothing. But unfortunately, I'm gonna stop right here. So you're gonna get to hear like 10, 15 seconds of this great music. And then, well, I'll have stopped. Go to the princess locked away in the castle. That princess holds the key that can unlock you from your shadow. That princess holds the key that can unlock you from your shadow form. I don't think that's the way the line's meant to be delivered, but fuck it. We get that nice piece of music. So there should be some dig spots along here, but... Yeah, alas. Yeah, what? No, fuck it. Let's go for a little longer. Oh, that is rain. I knew it rained, but it's like, holy shit, is that Boblin rapid firing? Still hounds. Buck, buck. Slipping down. Um, I'm running out of stuff to say, I guess. But yeah. We'll go for a fraction longer. I'm thinking we'll get to Zelda and then... I think that... Yeah, nah, that'll be a good quitting point. That should be about 10 minutes. A little less, hopefully. Fuck. Eat shit. No mercy for stooges. Harry this casual. Well, that's all I got really. Title jokes. Now imagine, if you will, um, you're a person living in a fantasy kingdom, and one day, a, yep, maybe a sixth sense, a dog runs in with his weird gray and gray, uh, gray green, what is it, gray and blue gremlin on their back. Yeah. So, what happens here is we are going to tell Ms. Barr, because you might recall in the last episode it was established that, we're going this way, that there is a secret passage 
under Tillman's bar that leads to the castle. So we have to do this, but I don't recall, but I'm positive. Yep, okay. Unfortunately, that up there is closed. So we're gonna go in here and get what? Cursed beast! Hell beast! Away, away! Oh wow, my voice is getting weak now, crap. You there. I see you, Snake. I don't know which milky villain that's meant to be. I don't know the game's corner. Hey, Louise. What's happening, girl? She can smell me. Massacre. Bacchina. See, Weeb. Fucking knew it. I remember. Yes, we won't, because Telma didn't introduce her cat. Treats them like second-rate citizens. Another patient. Princess Zelda. <clears throat> yep, the fun part. Couple of rats crawling, cr crawling around in the vents. Well, I fucked that up. Now yeah, there's Goron doing his little patrol so I don't recall how many of these you can smash before they uh, wise up oh fuck <laughs> oh quality content let's talk one more time mm-hmm True. We are rather bulky, aren't we? Sorry, I keep thinking I don't have to press A, but of course I do. I keep thinking I don't have to press. I keep thinking I don't have to press A, but of course I do. Yeah, of course, to get back up there, yeah. Of course, you you press A and you do it in one go. You don't fly off the uh, the crates, because that'd be dumb. We gonna style on these ropes? Yes, we are. Now, t a little piece of advice I learned from the Deus Ex Human Revolution. There was a kind lady named Letitia. <laughs> um, she had some solid advice. Um, yeah, some solid advice of people tend to not look up, Cap'n. Monsters walking in the streets of town. What in the world? What in the world? Are... Yeah, guards are more reliable. <laughs> Unlike myself. <sighs> Damn it. Hey, friends. Uh oh, it's happening. It's happening. Yes. Now that I heard an acquaintance of Telm has defeated the beast that had been attacking tourists on the bridge. His name was Link. It sounds as though he brought Telma and her young ward to Kakariko Village. And here, I was thinking Hyrule was em empty of men of valor. Oh no, I don't believe he's from Hyrule proper at all. Now, my understanding is that he's from the small neighboring province of Ordano. Ordano. Um, Ordano. Yes. I'm an elitist prick, but... People who do not know the city simply don't know fear. Unlike me, Shad, the bravest of all the heroes. <laughs> Go back to drawing, you fucking art. Yeah, it was an easy joke. I'm so no, I'm not sorry. You know what? Fuck. I'm not going to pretend I'm not sorry. So yeah, I've. It occurred to me, I could have walked, um, back when I was doing the wolf part just yesterday. Ah, uh, well, the day before, actually. What am I saying? And I could have gone back to those old caves and, yeah, done some stuff. Hey, friend. I beat that ghost. You may call me Doggy Giovanni. Are you a Joestar? 
good old Gengle. Yep. You defeat 20 ghosts that lurk in the dark for me. You can free pieces of my soul from the ghosts that hold them. And if you do, I might be free. Oh, but it's raining out now, so you can't go that way. I'll open the underground waterway. But it's conveniently in a chest. Mm-hmm. Yep, so this is outside. And right here, where we can have a little paddle, bark, 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 is where we dig in to see Giovanni. Can we have that sword that's like fused to McGold? Can we Scrooge McDuckett? Nah, just culminate in that Family Guy joke that goes on way too long. <laughs> which Family Guy joke that goes on too, way too long? You be, the, you be the judge of which one I'm referring to. The one of- Ow, oh, it doesn't work! Gold is solid, not liquid! Ow! And etc. for like, however long. I know that's kind of a joke that it goes on too long, but yeah. No, I'm not missing the point, you're missing the point. It's not funny, is what I'm saying. Oh yeah, that's right, I can't do that. I can spin. Good shit. We're gonna just try to run past this... This friendo here. Oh my god, really? Fuck. Fuck. You can jive, you can jive. Look at me. Look at me. Too fast. The only problem is, as you can see, the fire goes out after a little bit, so that means we have to do this. Yes, we have to do that. I notice I'm talking a bit quietly. Doing a dumb voice doesn't help, but hey. You can yeah, burn all these. Oh, fuck. What did I use to say in Transformers Prime? Oh, scrap. Yeah, that's it. You get it? Because it sounds like a swear word, but it's not. And it's a metal pun. You get it? I didn't get it. But then I did. Very cool. Okay. I thought I wasn't going to make another Red Letter Media reference, but apparently I am. See you later, fuckers. I'll make Zaibatsu references all day, but no problem there. Hey, so you might remember this. Mm -hmm. Yes. I won't mumble that so much. You might remember this. That's where I made the joke of seeing Dragon God. Which is a Demon Souls reference, not a Dark Souls reference, so it's completely different. Time to parry the arrow. He missed. Good form. You'll, uh, you'll get used to bow and arrow PvP one day. Man, I don't think I've told the story of that one time in the Undead Settlement. I came across, um, I believe it was it a a host in one fandom? I can't remember, but, um... Long story short, um... One of the fandoms I had to fight... I, I was a mountain maker, by the way. An invader. Oh! Hey, that's a good animation, actually. Nice. Um, one of the, uh... That rope's super superfluous. Why didn't I just say unnecessary? Because that's what it is. Um, one of the... Phantoms, or the only phantom... Same with that rope. Was a guy in Havel armor obviously over leveled <laughs> and um I always spent a while plinking away at him with arrows it was pretty fucking hilarious um I killed him with arrows um yeah it's like level 15 or 10 with like a plus 2 bow not even perhaps it was pretty hilarious <laughs> um yeah I think he even used the fucking Divine Blessing, he was so mad. He was so intent on killing me, but it was all for naught. And then the host ran away. And resummoned him. And then disconnected when I wouldn't come out of the first building, because fuck you. I'm not coming for a bonfire duel. Anyway, that's enough Dark Souls. Um, there's only five more minutes, so I don't think I... No, actually, no. I can fit more in, I'll just try not to. Fuck. Hey look, remember this song? Remember that guy? That's right, I can't use that song. No, parry. Someone did point out though, it's a bit of a shame you can't do a finishing attack as Wolfling. 
Go for the jugular. Or something. I think that's what, what they were putting down. Yeah, so this is dumb and makes no sense, but fuck it. Oh, I'm not gonna make it. Not gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. And that's how my story ends. I, Lucas Kane, the protagonist of Indigo Prophecy. One of the greatest pieces of medium media ever. Wow, look at that. Look at that castle wall. Oh no, what was happening again? Yeah, Indigo, Pro Indigo Prophecy is pretty fucking shit. It does have that little, uh, that little news story about Omicron the movie being a fucking blockbuster. Blockbuster? Blockbuster. Being one, one of the highest grossing movies ever, if I recall correctly. Uh, thank you, David Cage. Always a symbol of modesty. Something something's a bad game. Omicron was tragically ahead of its time. You know what was ahead of its time? Anarchy reigns. Fuck Omicron. Come on, just port anarchy reigns. Just, you, like, fix, maybe fix the infinites. I never played multiplayer, so I can't assert, but there were some broken fucking infinite combos in that game. Fix that, maybe up res the textures. That's all Platinum. I mean, it's not Platinum's choice, it's Sega's choice. And they fucking shit can the game in the first place, so it's not like we're ever going to get a port or a sequel, but... Anyway, I should shut up about Platinum. Um, simply because we've got this going on. <gasps> hey, look, I know that symbol. Do you know that symbol? It's a Triforce. It's Link's final smash. Our world is one of balance. We need light and dark. In a grey land of arch trees and craggy rock. One day the first flame appeared and it was a Triforce. Nito grabbed a bit. Gwyn grabbed a bit. The Witch of Isolith grabbed a bit. But that negative space in the middle the, the uh, furtive pygmy got meaning jack shit, but turned out to be the most powerful thing after all. And that was my, um, attempt at jamming Zelda lore, Zelda lore, Zelda lore, and Dark Souls lore together. Where can we find the Mirror of Twilight? Mm-hmm. See, Midden is not as much of a shit as you'd think. This is called a character arc. You know, it's when um a thing called character development happens. And it um yeah. It's there's a change of heart perhaps. Not gaining magical, mystical kung fu powers in was in what was initially a murder mystery with mystical elements. You see, the quest to overthrow Hyrule, um, yeah, it, it was, it was shared by, let's, let's see, um, the Mayans, who use crows and pentagrams, the, um, the termites, who are unrelated, the orange clan, the purple clan, who are AI demons that haunt us on the internet, um, who else, um, uh, Gerudo, no, no, it wasn't Gerudo, um, who, maybe, no, no, Ganondorf wasn't there, um, it was that guy in the raincoat who wasn't a raincoat killer, um, yes, I'm just shitting on Indigo Prophecy, alright, I love shitting on David Cage, <laughs> um, but, you know, to focus on the story, we have to go to the Sacred Grove, and we have got to eventually find the Mirror of Twilight. Oh, then it happens. It's that one angel from Evangelion. You know the one. The best one. <laughs> uh. 
I don't know if I should ever watch those new ones. I think mixed opinion, like... I, I think that's the, like... If you were to take any media on the planet, I think mixed opinion most most suits Evangelion than any other media on the fucking planet. <laughs> and the cat is screeching at the door. Perfect timing. Um, yeah, I think we move... And no, okay. I thought we were gonna move, and then all of a sudden, Linda just chimes in with what to do. All right, we can warp, can't we? All right, so Sacred Grove, not an order on spring. So we can do some things as Wolf, as Wolf Link, but um, not right now. So I'm gonna call it quits here. Yeah, because my cat's being really annoying. <laughs> I mean, I love her, but Christ. Um, we're going to finish here. Because we have to venture to the Sacred Grove, which is right over here. We'll just walk up to it. And I will get into position. Oh, fuck. Why'd I walk too far? Puppets. Oh, no. What will Link do? Yeah, goodbye. Oh, I have to finish this dialogue, damn it. I've, I wanted that to be the perfect place to stop. But now it is. I'm gonna steal from that bird later. How do you make contact as a wolf? Oh well.